Chapter 1.3 asks us to do applications involving algebra. So we are talking about applications here. And it gives you a list of steps, and feel free to write these steps down so that you can remember what it is to do when you see something that looks like this and you don't want to be intimidated by it. So the first thing it asks us to do, the five steps, is to familiarize yourself with the problem situation. So to do that we want to read the problem first. It says uh, the cross-section of a support for a solar energy panel is triangular. So I'm going to highlight that because it seems important that it's triangular. And say that the second triangle is five times as large as the first angle and that the third angle, let's do this one in orange, is two less than the first angle and it says find the measure of the angles. So now that I'm somewhat familiar with what's going on what I do is I like to draw a picture. So here is a picture, here is my solar panel right and the solar panels are kind of angled so that they can catch the sun um, at an angle and get them as much mass as much um, surface as they can now the cross section of the support the support is it looks like a triangle and if this is the first angle and this is the second angle and this is the third angle obviously not drawn to to uh, scale, then what I know is that the second angle is five times as large as the first. So if this is the second angle, it's five, five times something. Well, if this is the first angle, do we know how big the first angle is? It doesn't say. So let's use an x to denote the first angle. And so if the first angle x and the second angle is five times that, and that one is 5x. In fact, let's do that. Let's do our first angle in yellow, our second angle in blue, and our third angle is here. The third angle is less than, two degrees less than the first angle. Okay, well, the first angle is x, so the second angle, I mean the third angle is x minus 2. And here is where now we've used our critical thinking to build a model and now we need to bring in some previous knowledge that we have. You should know this by now. You should know that the measures of all angles in a triangle, all angles in a triangle equal, if I add them together they equal what? They should equal 180 degrees. And, and from here, it's straight algebra just trying to figure out that x plus 5x plus x minus 2 is equal to 180. Um, I have like terms here, so 1 plus 5 is 6 plus another one is 7x minus 2 is equal to 180. I have to add 2 to both sides. I have that 7x is equal to 182 so when I divide by when I divide by 7 both sides I get that x is equal to 26 degrees so I know that this angle is 26 I know that this angle oops this angle is um, 5 times 26 so 5 times 26 is 30, carry the 3, 10, 130 degrees. And I know that the orange angle is 26 minus 2, it is 24 degrees. So we now need to check our answer. So 24 plus 26 is a 50, 50 plus 130 is 180. So it works. Now I have to state the measures of the angles. R dot dot dot. That's how you give your answer. And make sure you give your answer in terms of the degrees. That was an awful looking six. In terms of the degrees. Um, because we need to know the units. 
Let's take a look at another one. Remember, you shouldn't be scared by any of this stuff. Let's try this one, a picture frame. Said so a piece of wood trim that is 100 inches long is to be cut in two pieces, and each of those pieces is to be cut into four pieces in order to form a square picture frame. So we have something that's 100 inches long. Oops. So we have something that is 100 inches long and it's to be cut into two pieces and each of those pieces to be cut into four pieces in order to make a square picture frame the length of the side of one square is one and a half times the length of the side of the other so there's two picture frames here um, so here's what we've got we've got a piece of wood Got a piece of wood that's a hundred, right? It's a hundred inches long, one hundred inches long. And we want to make a cut in the frame. And with that cut, we want to make one picture frame. And then we're going to build that again. We're going to, on the other, with the other part of the cut, we are going to make another slightly larger picture frame, right? So here is what's going to happen with the wood that we have. So each of those pieces, so it's cut into two pieces, and then we're going to make smaller cuts one, two, three, one, two, three, four, to get four pieces. For that picture frame and one two three uh, four pieces for this picture frame so if the picture frames are square then this length is going to be as squared that'll give me the area there and this length is one and one half times one and one half times this one. So one and one half, it'd be easier for me if I understood one and one half as just a fraction. So two times one plus one is three over two. So this one here is three halves of this S. So what do I know so far? I know that this length is S, this length is S, this length is S, and this length is S. That's how I get each of these sides here. So I have four S's. And then I know that this length is three halves of S. And so is this one, and so is this one, and so is this one. So I'm going to add to that four times three halves of S. And all of that together is going to be how long? It'll be 100 inches. So now all I need to do is solve. Uh, shouldn't be terribly hard if I were to simplify what I've got here so far. Um, those cancel to 2, so I've got 4s, 4s, plus 2 times 3 is 6s equals 100 inches, or 10s is equal to 100 inches. So the square, the smaller square, is going to be it's going to be s is equal to 10 inches so this is 10 inches and then if that's 10 inches then this is 15 inches so if this is 10 inches then this length here is 40 inches and this length here is 60 inches.